All right, welcome back to Eminem Classic Tractor for another quick fix video. Today we're going to talk about uh, Zenith, Carter, and International carburetors. This is the most common version. Uh, actually, this design is pretty universal between all three of those brands. You'll see the majority of these will be on international tractors, you know, Super A's, Cubs, things like that. Uh, they'll either be an international or a Zenith, and uh, I have seen quite a few rare ones that's actually had a quarter. Now, most common issues with these, a lot of these get replaced because people can't get them to stop leaking. Either they're leaking around the seam right here, uh, leaking around the nose, uh, it's pouring out of the mouth of the carburetor, or uh, they have no adjustments, they can't seem to get it to run right. So let me show you what we run across this. And we've actually done this on some other videos like the Marvel Shebblers and stuff, but this is, it has the same problem, but more pronounced. Um, and if you have an aftermarket carburetor for your tractor, like a Ferguson or a Ford, a lot of times it is a Zenith. And uh, which is very similar to this design. They still have this issue this issue's been around for 50 years and they've never updated the design to fix it. So I'm gonna show you real fast what you need to do when you go through these. Check this out before you go to replace this carburetor because a lot of times this is the problem. And like I said, this is uh, uh, the majority of these I run into are on farm malls and international tractors with the uh, IH carburetor or Zenith carburetor, pretty much same thing. Um, and Carter is also one, but uh, all carburetors, including the Marvel Shevlers, I check this when we go to rebuild one. We've got them all. Oh, one more. Okay. So this is just a dud. This one's actually uh, salvageable, but. I believe we got this thing out of an estate or something and we kept it for parts. If I can get this little thing out of here, I need some pliers. There we go. Okay. Number one we run into is the entire housing gets warped. This one's actually the Venturi stuck in it. There it goes. Okay. Worst design they ever made was this piece right here. It's only got one screw and no other material to really keep it uh, reinforced right here. But what you'll take, flat sanding surface. You can go get you some of those body sponges that you wrap sandpaper around, whatever. We always go across these for a few seconds. Then we check it and we'll see where the shine is. So we can already tell that it is warped right through here because we are cutting across that. It's shiny here, shiny there, but it hasn't even touched this bit right here. Also on this piece here. We'll also do the same thing on the base. Now, uh, I believe it's Cubs and maybe some of the Super A's. The main jet is fixed into this. Um, you'll have to work around that or you can heat it just a little bit with like a, a handheld torch, map gas torch or something and you can twist it out. I'd normally try not to mess with that if I can because that's another downfall of these carburetors. But we're going to do the same thing with the base. This is just a off the shelf, a little larger than normal honing block. You know, it's double sided, coarse and a fine. And you don't have to put a machine polish on this like you're gonna paint it. You just want to flatten it. See out of that, we can already tell it's low right here. We got the same issue right here. We got shininess on either side. So this one, once it was back together, would have the leaking problem throughout the middle on the inside so it would be pouring out of the mouth and we wouldn't be able to adjust it out. But you can almost see without the gasket on there, I don't know if you can see that too well on camera, but you can just see how that doesn't seem to fit perfectly flat. 
Most of the time it ends up being this nose piece, the narrow part, that's the issue, especially on the Cubs. Formal Cubs are the worst for that. But we saved the majority of those carburetors. That's one of the most expensive carburetors to get a replacement for. I mean, a Zenith for those things is, uh, I think the cheapest I've seen is around Steiner. It's like $400. You can go get you a kit for this thing, you know, a gasket kit, your uh, needle and seat, and if you've got a good float grate, that's about all you need to fix these. But you're gonna polish this down. You can take a few thousands off here. Make sure this is flat. Put it all back together and then adjust it from there. So if you've got the Zenith Carter or International Carburetors and they always seem to be pouring out of the mouth, always seem to be leaking around this side or the adjustments aren't working or anything like that, this is the number one thing that goes wrong with this design of carburetor. Um, and again, it's great to do this on all versions, uh, even the Holley carburetors on the Fords I've had a few issues with and, and sanding the surfaces has fixed it. Uh, Marvel Shebblers we've run across, but these uh, zinc and cast aluminum pop metal carburetors like this, especially with this narrow front, no reinforcement, number one issue right there. They just get warped. But uh, once we shave them down and put it back together, perfect. So if you got any questions or if you got any ideas for future videos or a video that you'd like to see, comment down below. Uh, and again, we do get all your comments. Unfortunately, we can't reply to all of them. Uh, we don't always get notified by YouTube that your comment is there. It is getting through. We just don't always get notified about it. But go ahead, comment down below or send us a, uh, a message through the community tab on our YouTube page. Or you can email us at still running that's s-t-i-l-l-r-u-n-n-i-n at mmsclassictractor.com so do it country style with no g see you later